Um, Could I ask you just here? So those people you see that are from 20, 30 years ago, and say from that period they stopped, would the lungs continue to be damaged? Or does the, over time the lungs um, repair and then become as a non-smoker? Yeah, so right. that's a very good question, actually. Um, so actually, it takes years for the lungs to become damaged. Right. The lungs don't become damaged straight away. All right. I mean, some damage develops, but yeah. it's probably not clinically significant damage right. to the extent that it causes symptoms or disease. Mm. Yeah, okay. so there's probably subclinical damage which isn't significant and doesn't manifest. But the, the, the significant damage co happens years down the line, whether it's lung cancer right. or whether it's emphysema or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD for short, mm. which we're not going to talk about much in this episode. In fact, we have a, I think a separate episode for lung cancer and a separate episode for COPD as well. Mm. Um, so that, that happens years down the line. There's a lag right. of several decades, at least, you know, two, two to three decades or later that the damage happens. Having said that, if the person has been a very, very heavy chain smoker for those short years, those 10 years that they have smoked or 20 years that have smoked, and on top of that, if they have smoked other substances such as cannabis or heroin, okay. we know those also cause emphysema. Mm -hmm. So they develop accelerated emphysema earlier than those that have smoked less or those have only smoked tobacco and not mm. cannabis and heroin. So classically, COPD gets diagnosed above the age of 35, 40. Mm. There are some people that can develop COPD actually slightly younger wow. Wow. because they've smoked so much mm. Gosh. since they were, honestly, I've seen people that when I've asked them, when did you start smoking? They say, when I was 11. Mm. 